Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Efeni. Good morning, Emmanuel. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Rufai. Oh, good sir. morning, Adesua. Good morning. That good morning sounded special. <laughs> yes, it has to be. It has to be. <laughs> okay, this is Inside Baseball. This is Malabar, <laughs> is that something we should know? <laughs> what is Inside Baseball? <laughs> Between the two of them. <laughs> let's move on with the newspaper review. Yeah. The lead story of these day newspapers. A Fabio fires back. List senators, House members awarded NDDC contracts. He is confused, says Wamboshi. Tunji Ujo, allegations spurious. Now, the Daily Independent has similar story. 40 billion Naira NDDC pro. Apabio names senators, reps who got contracts. contracts. He is, conf is a confused man. Mabushi, yes, at this one. Not the naming ceremony you were expecting. I know. Yes, but names have been mentioned. Mm -hmm. And these names, um, yes, there are some other contracts. They just said uh, Edo Rep, Undo Rep, Delta Rep, names not mentioned. But Akpabio has found some courage, found his spine, and he has come forward with some names. And I think we should take this matter from that point. Mm. That these names mentioned, uh, then we should start uh, digging deep because these are contracts just within the period of the IMC. Is this a long standing practice? Then we have to go back in time. And some of these names mentioned are senators who have been in the Senate chambers for more than two times. So the probe has to go deeper. Will the Senate and the House of Rep do justice to this matter since their members have been mentioned? Because if you put this against the backdrop of the fact that the speaker, Femi Bajabia Miller, Red cover letter and excluded other details. That in itself is, uh, I want to say, damning. But we still need to hear from him why he did not uh, reveal the names mentioned in Apabio's memo, only reading the cover letter. But what this tells us is that there is the audacity of corruption in our system. Despite the best effort of President Muhammadu Buhari, whether his best is good enough for Nigeria, on this matter is another uh, story altogether, which, is, which can be debated even at the seminar, Ruben. But <laughs> the fact is that there is audacity of corruption, as we have seen over, over time. Despite the fact people are still not uh, scared, they have the temerity to do whatever they want to do. How do we get to the root of this matter? Well, I mean, I commented on this earlier, and I said that the issues at stake uh, include trust, uh, leadership failure, uh, conflict of interest, abuse of privilege, and that, uh, well, the main gainers from all of this are Nigerians, because we see all these revelations, and many Nigerians will be delighted uh, that, you know, the people uh, who should protect their interests are now at each other's necks, and they are making revelations that can further enlighten Nigerians about the process of governance and the quality of governance that they are getting. I said, secondly, that uh, the Speaker of the House of Representatives uh, is on the spot right now, because when he read on the floor of the House the letter that he purportedly got from Senator Akpabio, uh, what came out of that put Senator Akpabio in bad light, because it looked like he was spineless, to use what you were suggesting, or cowardly. But it has now come to light that, in fact, there was an annex, annex uh, to the covering letter, uh, which the uh, speaker did not disclose. And he, would, he owes Nigerians an explanation why he refused to go further to disclose, to make full disclosure uh, in terms of the response by Senator Gosul Akpabi, who had been flogged within the public arena 
uh, for not uh, standing up to hold on to the statement that he made, knowing fully well that the only defense he has is the defense of truth. Now, earlier on, I had also said, look, this is uh, a bad comment on the APC. But someone had drawn my attention to the fact that one of the names mentioned is actually a senator from the PDP. Not just one. Aha, OK. So maybe more than one. So this is not about PDP or APC. James Manager it, is a long-standing PDP so, senator from my state. Well, I don't want to mention Peter names. Mwaboshi mentioned. We're talking of names that have been mentioned, Ruben. We're, OK. We're, right. we're not inventing names here. Yeah. OK, already we're in the public domain. Yes, we're talking of published names in this day. OK, but they, yes. I mean, they should defend themselves. Yes, they should. But the truth of the matter is that, look, I mean, we've seen that this is not about APC, it's not about PDP. It's about the political class. And, you know, that should be an awakening uh, for Nigerians that between the PDP, the APC, and whichever political party, there's really no difference when it comes to abuse of uh, privilege. Uh, the third point to make, of course, is that we hope that this will not end here, that this will not translate into an abandonment of the uh, probe of the uh, NDDC uh, that is going on, and that more revelations will be made. Meanwhile, I've read a story with regard to a uh, Northeast uh, Development Commission about uh, a certain missing 100 billion. And then one NGO from that part of the country has said, look, leave the NEDC alone. Just focus on NDDC, <laughs> <laughs> which is, you know, your typical uh, Nigerian you know, story. Ruben, we, we don't have to wait for another 20 years before we look at the Northeast Development. <laughs> if there is sleaze there, let's yeah, tackle it now it. as yeah. we are tackling every other agency of government, not just NDDC. I totally agree with Anywhere you. there is sleaze, I think we should, we should smoke them out. When it comes to corruption, it should not be a matter of turn by turn or zoning or rotational uh, corruption. I totally agree with you. Uh, and just like Dr. Abati said, this should not end here. We would like to see this go beyond the yeah. ethics and privileges committees of the House as they like to do. Perhaps can we see the anti-graft agencies uh, sweep into action? Uh, we do know that lawmakers do not have immunity as executive. I wonder executive what they are waiting for. Exactly. So I wonder what they are waiting uh, by for. By now, one would have thought to know that the anti-graft agencies in the country will sweep into action for an administration, especially the President Mohamed uh, Buhari's administration, that, you know, fights corruption and likes to fight it with, you know, all, all the vigor you can get. We'd like to see more. All right, we keep talking. I mean, let me quote your words, uh, Mr. Finney. You said, audacity of corruption. When are we going to have audacity of development for the lives of Nigerians out there? Because as we are talking about all of this, these monies could have been used to change the lots of millions of Nigerians out there, build schools, build hospitals, truly fight COVID-19, and make their lives better. All the countries we talk about in the world, they had the audacity to develop their country. Me, I'm sick and tired of hearing the audacity of corruption. I want to hear the audacity of development. I want to see development be very audacious in every sphere of Nigerian life. Well, let's just move quickly to a do state. New Telegraph newspaper, APC PDP war of words over bloody palace attack. Yes, that was another show of shame yesterday. Um, a couple of days ago, the, that's on Saturday when the PDP launched its campaign in the Edo Goba election for the coup. But unfortunately, during their visit to the Obas Palace, uh, some persons uh, were there and it resulted in bloody clash, as they say. Is this a teaser well, well, as Fanny, to what is to you, come? Can you quickly take one or two more headlines yes. before we I will, to break? I will just go to the uh, foreign newspaper, Daily Mail, no way back for Harry and Meghan. Yes, as bombshell book lays bare their bitter rift with royal family. Sources one of devastating consequences. Yes, the book, Finding Freedom, a biography, revealing so much about the rift, uh, well, seem to have put paid to any hope of uh, pr uh, Prince Harry and Meghan. Okay. Resuming royal yes, duties okay. anytime soon. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Finn. That's all on headline news.